guys, it's Bumble We Love. Um, and today I really, I was really hoping that the mailman would get here with um, with my incoming doll, my new little dolly. But he didn't show up and I am so impatient and I was so disappointed. Uh, I keep checking my tracking number and it just says that she is on her way so I'm not even sure that she is in Denmark yet. Which is really frustrating, um, so I will give it a day or two more, um, and then if nothing's happened, I'm going to contact the post office and hear if they know anything. Because she shipped out a week ago, last Monday, and this, the girl I got her from said that it would take about five working days, so I'll give it a few more days, but yeah. So I thought um, to kill some time I would do this autobiography tag, I hope I said that right, that everyone seems to be doing right now. So um, um, I have the questions written down in this little notebook. Um, the first question is, are the hobbies? I like drawing, um, I won't say I'm good at it, but I like it. And I like crafting in general, I like needle felting, I like modeling with working with clay and I like sewing and um, I like taking pictures actually, I like photographing, I guess that's kind of a hobby but it's related to the doll hobby. And oh, I like history um, but I'm not sure that's a hobby, it's just something I like reading about and searching about um, and I like I go to um, medieval festivals and conventions in the summer I just got home from a week-long festival it was amazing it was really great I love that um, but it's only in the summertime because there's there isn't really anything in the winter time so it's a summer hobby I guess um, yeah question number two other collections I collect Remand these tiny little miniatures the Japanese kind. Um, I have a lot of it and I don't really use it for anything. Um, a few of them are in my ASOMS little room, um, but most of them are actually just stored in these boxes. Um, and I take them out and look at them from time to time. <laughs> but um, yeah. Um, I like to say that I collect Aeson dolls, but I only have one and um, I'm not sure when I'll be able to buy a new one because I think they're rather expensive for such a little plastic doll. Um, they are different than BJDs, you can't really be as creative with them as I feel like you can with the BJDs. Or, but I'd like to say that I collect those, my collection just isn't that big yet. Um, I collect notebooks. Um, I love buying notebooks and I especially buy them if uh, I find some, some ones that are really cute or pretty but I never really use them for anything. They're just laying in a big um, stack and taking up space and there's absolutely nothing in them. Um, uh, question number three, where do you live and what do you like or not like about it? I live in Denmark, in the th southern part of Denmark, in a small town called Christiansfeld. And um, I guess what I like about it is I like the weather and the landscape. Um, a lot of people think that the weather is horrible in Denmark and the lands land is is flat and boring and it is. The weather can be pretty horrible and the landscape is pretty flat, yes, but I, I think it's beautiful. I especially like it in the spring when everything is in bloom and, and the trees and the bushes and the plant life really springs out and everything gets very green. It's really intense, so I like that. It's really beautiful and I like autumn and I like I like winter and I like summer. I, and I like rain and it rains a lot here so that's great. Um, the only thing I don't really like is probably 
that it gets pretty dark in the winter and lots of people get winter depressions, me included. Um, everything just slows down in the winter, it's really, yeah. <laughs> And movies and TV series, I don't have a TV and I don't really watch a lot of TV series. I don't really watch a lot of movies. I do have some DVDs. Um, I like Studio Ghibli and I like um, documentaries. <laughs> I guess I like watching you guys. I think that's the closest thing I get to watching TVs. <laughs> I follow you guys. Um, Anime and manga. Um, I used to read a lot of manga when I was younger. I read Nana and Ranma and oh, I don't even remember all of them. It's kind of a long time ago. Um, and I never really got into watching anime. I never really did anything for me, so I don't really know about that. Music? I have a pretty open mind when it comes to music. I can listen to basically everything. Um, but what I really like is I like Coldplay and Alpha Beat. I like like <laughs> ten centimeters. I like musicals and Disney music. I like folk music. I like uh, medieval music. Anything else? There's probably some Danish bands as well. I yeah, but I like a lot of music um, and video games. Um, I have played a little Sims, uh, but I don't really play it anymore and I didn't play it for very long. Um, and, but I have a Nintendo DS where I, I have like five or six different Harvest Moon game <laughs> games. I really like Harvest Moon, it's such a cute game. And it's, yeah, I, I enjoy that, but that's basically the only thing that I play. Um, and books. Question number eight. Um, I have a lot of books that I really like to read, but I'm really bad at giving myself the time to sit down and read a book. Um, I think it's been a really long time since I last read a book, but I think the last one I read that I remember was called Eric, Son of Man. I, that's what I would translate it to. Um, I think it's a Danish book. It's about the uh, Nordic gods like Odin and Thor and stuff like that. It's really, it was a really great book. Um, but when I do read, I usually read um, comic books. This is the moments. That's what I'm working on right now. I have the other ones up there, the rest of the series. <laughs> But this is the first one I just started. Um, I love reading um, comic books. Uh, it's, it's, it's a little more, I think, fun because you can kind of follow the pictures and... Yeah, <laughs> I just like reading comic books. Um, what else do we have? Traveling, question number nine. Where would I like to go? Um, I love the Nordic countries, so I would really like to go to Finland and to Russia, Scotland, uh, maybe Canada. Um, yeah, places like that. Um, I have been to Iceland and Norway and Sweden. Um, and I really like to go to Iceland again. Uh, if possible, I'd like to live there. <laughs> but um, yeah. <laughs> um, a random fact about me? No, wait. Number 10 first. Favorite food? Um, I like food. I like basically all kinds of foods. I like trying new food. I like spicy food especially. And salad? I, I really, really love vegetables and fruit. I, I eat, I don't know how much, but I eat so much fruit and vegetables every day that that's basically what I eat the most, but I I do like mm, other foods and stuff. But I eat a lot of vegetables, I love those. Um, question number 11, a random fact about me. The only thing that I can think about is that I have hiccups every day. 
every single day and I had that for like three or four years now and I don't know why I just hiccup every day especially when I'm with people or if I'm busy or stressed out I, I do it a lot <laughs> um, 12 of my favorite colors are probably um, like earth-like colors or dusty colors I'm not that much into really um, strong colors like pink and yeah orange stuff like that um, if, it, if they're toned down and dusty earth like I do like them yeah um, pets I have two cats um, which one of them is oopsie, right here this is Valis he is adorable um, and I have Eva, she is in my other room in there um, and yeah those are my pets that I live with I have a dog also but he lives with my mom because I'm not allowed to have dogs in my apartment and <laughs> I miss him a lot um, I would really like to get a dog someday I would love to get a corgi they're, I think they are absolutely adorable um, Yeah. Um, I'm not I'm not necessarily a cat or dog person, I just really like both, but but I can only have cats here, so that's what I have. Um was that it? No, uh the last question is job, what do you do for a living? Um I was taking an education as a bookbinder. Um I really want to be a hand bookbinder but Unfortunately that's not really possible, at least not in Denmark. I don't think I would be able to make a living of it and if I if I finished that education I would probably just end up working at a fabric and making books that way and that was not really what I wanted. I So I recently stopped and now I'm kind of trying to figure out what I want to do. <laughs> it's a little hard, I really don't know. I want to do something um, physical, um, not just sitting on my butt and reading on the computer all day. I want to do something, I want to use my hands, but I, I think it's hard to figure out what I want to. So. <laughs>